All right, here we go. So we got lucky enough to pull one of these hero collectibles um, out of the pro pack because I did not want to put 40 gold players into the set. Um, so we're going to complete our first hero right now, um, which is the Tyler Lockett. Um, this is going to be a wicked card. 88 kicker tuner. This might actually be enough to give us an 85 overall team. So we'll see if that happens. Um, this hero collectible um, wasn't auctionable. Um, so, you know, that's a little unfortunate. Um, I'll go show you that quickly. But you can see right now, you can't quick sell it, you can't auction it, um, which, you know, I guess a little unfortunate um, in terms of trying to pick them up, but kind of makes them a little bit more rare, which is kind of cool. Um, so we'll go into the set, um, we'll finish it off. Here we go, the Team Hero Collectible, five elite trophies and five, uh, or ten, sorry, goal players from that team, which pretty much, there are not a whole lot of um, goal players that I could find going for under like, you know, 7,000 or something for it. So it tends to be a lot of Tyler Lockett's to give us a boosted kick returning Tyler Lockett. So here we go. We're going to claim this um, and then we'll put it on the team. I'm excited to try it out. And our first one, we're going to get him. Oh, there it is. What's going to make our overall update team? 84, 84, 84. So we're 84 across the board. Not quite there at 85, um, but still a pretty decent team. Uh, nonetheless, and then we get our uh, Hero Seahawks collectible, which goes towards our Hero Master set that we complete. So let's go try out some gameplay, see if we can get a kick return for a touchdown. Alright, here we go with some Tyler Lockett gameplay. So we got Tyler Lockett here, the kick returner, 88 overall, gives that boost. Off to a decent start, gets just past the 20, which, you know, hey, it's good. it gets the kicker turner. And it doesn't matter, we do C.J. Anderson on the team, because look at that, just knocks him to the ground. C.J. Anderson, if you don't have this card on your team, you need to get him on the team. That headliner card is amazing. And anyways, Tyler Lockett on to his next try. He's going to get a little bit further this time, so he's going to get through. Just can't get through. Doesn't quite have that same truck as C.J. You know, when, when C.J.'s there, just kind of push them to the side like this. Watch this. This is what Tyler Lockett needs. He needs that ability, that strength to just throw someone to the side and get through. And your kick return, if you don't have that, it's it's pretty difficult to, to get through. Um, he also doesn't have quite the speed that he needs in order to do that. If you look back to last season with the Devin Hester, 99 overall, which obviously it's way later in the season, way better. You can't expect too much from him at this point in the season. But that card could do anything because he could truck, he had speed, he had everything, right? So, you know, doesn't quite have just a little bit short, um, in my opinion, being able to get you all the way back to the score. Of course, you can break through every once in a while, it happens, um, but, uh, you know, a decent kick return nonetheless, because what do you need to do your kick return and get you, you know, some decent yards? Getting us up to the 30, getting us up to the 40, that's pretty good. That gives us a good head start, and then CJ will bring it home for us every time. So, I'm pretty happy with him, pretty happy with the card. Um, you know, didn't obviously get back for a touchdown, which would have been awesome, um, but hey, still... Pretty good card nonetheless. That is the Tyler Lockett gameplay. Um, so thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It has been a pleasure. Stop D. Out.